Three great revolutions will change the automotive industry forever. The first will be the Green Revolution. We've already worked with electric cars. We had some minor problems with the batteries and the range. The time will come when electrical transmission vehicles will be able to drive even longer than those with combustion engines. Okay. You said it were three great revolutions. What's next? The second revolution will be the customer revolution. New car sales will decline by 88% due to a large increase in taxi services and car sharing. After sales services will also be affected. There will be 90% fewer accidents in the future and therefore less repairs. Utilization capacity will increase exponentially. So, industry still exists then? Of course, except it's different. Welcome to the post-industrial era, where growth is in quality and not quantity. The few people who still wish to buy a car will demand hyper-personalization. Each vehicle will adapt specifically to each customer, tailoring a thousand details, including their height, weight, tastes, everything. But that's impossible. No supply chain can handle so many variations. It is possible, Frank, provided you only manufacture the parts you are going to need. Let me present modular vehicles, made to measure cars produced at a lower cost than traditional cars. So we're not selling models anymore. We're selling personalization. Yes, Frank. And we haven't mentioned the third great revolution yet, the car as a service. In the future, cars will be a means, not an end. People will source their transport in the same way they sign up for their internet services. Customers will pay a fee which will cover the car, vehicle maintenance, energy consumed, entertainment programs, and in addition, why not, exclusive apps. The journey will be understood as a whole, and the car will be just a small part of this user-friendly digital ecosystem. Every so often, the details of the subscription will be renewed, and the customer will replace the car, apps, and everything else. So if the car is only a small part of the final product, then... Exactly, Frank. Automotive firms will no longer be at the center of the business, Customers will be able to source their transport pack directly from their energy supplier. Or, who knows, perhaps from their insurer. The automotive industry will become a cross-industry. This changes everything. Editing. I have a lot of work to do. My company needs to change from just being a car manufacturer to being a mobility service provider create a whole new multidisciplinary team. Are you ready to go back now, Frank? Do you feel awake? Yes, I have a lot of work to do. Mobility service provider. Hello, Frank. Welcome to the present. Building a vehicle is a highly complex um, um, endeavor, and not many new market entrants are successful as we know doing this. Building software is a little bit easier because um, software is a brain of pe people brain, and uh, you, you can you can build in light speed um, applications. You can change them on the fly. You're not bound to physical pr um, um, processes, so you're easier, more flexible to change and try things. Basically, through software components, the future car will become more and more personalized. 
The whole value chain has therefore to be adapted. So IT will completely change its role. It will become a main driver. And in your view, how far will this go? I would say, I would even go further, it has already changed dramatically. I mean, um, if, if you look at the cars um, hitting the market right now, and then in our fleet, the new electric fleet coming to the market, um, the physical product is already partially, um, um, I would say, cyber, cyberized, where software defines part of the vehicle f functionality. And also around the vehicle, I mean, um, interaction with the end consumer is not only you hit a pedal and you accelerate, you, you manage the vehicle with software, right? And, uh, and on, you have apps that do a lot of stuff um, offloaded on your mobile phone with your vehicle. And um, so already um, IT has become um, an integral, integral part uh, of the product itself. But even more so, it's, it's also between the product and the end consumer, the communication. And it's also about um, um, sending this vehicle into the market for operations, dealerships, and uh, service and maintenance. All of that is more IT-based than ever before. I think that the role of partnerships and platforms will become even more important because of the effects of digitization and the increase of software elements in the vehicle, at least relatively. Do you see a stronger role for partnerships? I mean, there are probably two aspects to it. First of all, the answer is yes. Um, one aspect is that um, you need an ecosystem of partners uh, who focus on their core strength. For example, telecommunication, telco, mobile communications um, uh, is, is one, one, one strong area that we need to be successful. So that's why we need strong partners. On the IT side, I mean, um, we in the past we have outsourced a lot of our tasks. So even that we are insourcing, let's say up to 20% of our software development, it also means 80% is still uh, with our partners. And we need global partners who are able to help us not only in a German market, European market, but on a global market. So the partners will change. So today you find a lot of um, um, small partners that are very, very specialized in, in, in some areas. Probably the future will be fewer partners, but global ones who can help us to grow around the globe and who understand our needs and who can scale uh, the way we need to scale our business. And that's a totally different dimension if you look at the partnership um, uh, tomorrow in the future.